Lesson 12.3, Identify Polygons. A polygon is a closed shape that is made up of line segments that meet only at their endpoints. And each line segment in a polygon is a side. So for this rectangle, we have one line segment right here, two, three, four line segments. And each line segment meets at an endpoint, these red dots. All polygons are closed shapes, but be careful, not all closed shapes are polygons. So think of it this way, all pugs are dogs, but not all dogs are pugs. So all polygons are closed shapes, but there are some closed shapes that are not polygons. Some closed shapes have curved lines or line segments that don't meet at endpoints, so they are not polygons. These are polygons. They're closed shapes and they have line segments. See that? These are not polygons because this has a curved line, this has a curved line, and look, these endpoints don't meet and it's open. So these are not polygons, but these are. And this is a closed shape and so is this this is a closed shape, but they're not polygons. So that's why it said not all closed shapes are polygons. Okay? They can't have a curved line, and the endpoints are supposed to meet so that it's closed inside. So we need to circle all the words that would describe this shape. This is a circle. Is it a plain shape? Is it a two-dimensional shape? Yes, it is, so we can circle plane shape. Is it an open shape? No, it's all closed, isn't it? So it's a closed shape. Do you see a curved path? Is there a curve here? Yes, so there's curved path. What about line segments? Do you see straight line segments with endpoints? No. Is it a polygon? Remember, a polygon can't have curved paths. So no, it's not a polygon. So this circle is a plain shape, it's a closed shape, and it's got curved paths. Now let's look at this one. Is it a plain shape? Yes, it's a shape, it's a plain shape. Is it an open shape? Well, look, we've got this right here. That's open, so yes, it's an open shape. Is it a closed shape? No, we just found that it was open. Are there curved paths? Yeah, we have a curve right here, and we have a curve right here. So it's got curved paths. Do you see line segments? I see a line segment right here to right here. So yes, we have a line segment. Is it a polygon? Well, no, it's not a polygon. Just because it's open and has curves, I know it's not a polygon. So this is a plain shape or two-dimensional shape. It's open, it has curved paths, and we have a line segment right here but it's not a polygon. What about this shape here? Is it a plain shape? Yes, it is. It is a plain shape. It's a two-dimensional shape. It's a plain shape. Is it an open shape? I don't see any openings, do you? Nope. So it's not an open shape. Is it a closed shape? Yes, it is a closed shape. Do you see any curved paths? No, I don't see any curves. Do you see line segments? Yes, I see line segments here, 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 and here, making up the sides. So it's got line segments. Is it a polygon? Well, it's a closed shape with line segments. 
So yes, it's a polygon. In fact, that's a hexagon. Plane shapes are shapes with two dimensions, length and width. A plane shape is on a flat surface. We learned about that in video 12.1. And polygons are always plane shapes. A plane is a flat surface that extends in all direction. So notice how plane is spelt. It's P-L-A-N-E. If it's P-L-A-I-N, then that means simple, easy, or without decoration. Like a plain dress doesn't have any decorations on it. That's a different type of plane. This type of plane is a flat surface that extends in all directions, or it could even be an airplane, couldn't it? So it's got a P-L-A-N-E for the type of plane we're talking about. So polygons are always closed shapes. Sometimes plain shapes are polygons, sometimes they are not. To be a polygon, they must be closed, be made of line segments that only meet at their endpoints with no curved lines. So here we have a pentagon, and we can see that's a side, and these are all sides going around the edge, the perimeter, and it's a line segment. It's in between two endpoints. See that? We have another endpoint here and here and here, and this is also a vertex. It's where a ray or line segment comes out that direction or that direction. That's a vertex. And if you have more than one vertex, they're called vertices. So this pentagon has five vertices. One, two, three, four, five. It's got five angles. Here's an angle. Here's another one. That's two, three, four, five. And there's five line segments for its sides. One, two, three, four, five. These are all triangles. Any polygon with three angles and three sides is a triangle. We've got one, two, three sides. Every single one has three sides and they all have three angles. One, two, three. And these are quadrilaterals. Any polygon with four angles and four sides is a quadrilateral. We've got one, two, three, four sides. We've got one, two, three, four angles in every single one. They're all quadrilaterals, four sides. These are pentagons. Any polygon with five angles and five sides is a pentagon. We've got one, two, three, four, five sides. They all have five sides. They all have five angles. These are all hexagons. Any polygon with six angles and six sides is a hexagon. And for polygons, the number of angles is the same as the number of its sides. That's why you see three angles, three sides for a triangle, four angles, four sides for a quadrilateral, five angles, five sides for a pentagon, and six angles, six sides for a hexagon. These are all octagons. Any polygon with eight angles and eight sides is an octagon. It doesn't have to be shaped like this to be an octagon. It could be like this or like this if it's got eight sides and eight angles. These are all decagons. And it looks like it could be a circle, but it's not. There's little line segments going all the way around with little sharp corners. They're all decagons. They all have 10 angles and 10 sides. Polygons are all around us everywhere. How many polygons can you find around you right now? I bet there's a lot around you in your schoolroom or at home. So remember, polygons are always closed shapes. And to be a polygon, they must be closed be made of line segments that only meet at their endpoints with no curved lines. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about intersecting lines and our next lesson. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.